What's good everybody, it's Riley here and I'm going to show you how to install PyTorch with GPU acceleration in Ubuntu using Conda. This tutorial is also only for NVIDIA GPUs. I'm going to show you how to get PyTorch with NVIDIA GPU acceleration. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into it. So there are some technicalities that has to do with the way NVIDIA packages its software for uh, GPU acceleration. So shout out to this user for directing me to this um, compatibility webpage, which shows us which specific drivers we need for our use case. So this is our golden key for installing drivers for GPU acceleration. So this is our driver version of our entire system. You cannot change this. Um, basically, you should already have this installed if you're where if you have an NVIDIA GPU and the way you check that is go ahead and hit your super key and then start searching for settings. Then you can come down. You're going to pop into here. You're going to come down to details and right here. It should show graphics. Now, if this is not uh, your GPU, your NVIDIA GPU, then you're going to need to switch over to this. And there are other other videos and tutorials online that can help you out with that. But basically, these are your driver graphics that it's talking about right here. These are your drivers. Another way to check this um, is to type NVIDIA-SMI. Make this a little bit bigger. NVIDIA-SMI into here, and you're going to get this display. Now, this is showing which driver version we have right here. We have 435.21. Okay. It also shows our CUDA version. Um, this just happens to be what I'm using on my computer. So we need to start by looking at the driver version and go from there. So our driver version 435, we're going to come back to this table, this golden key, and we're going to look at where we land. So we land right here where we're above 418. So that means that the toolkits that we can use are always below it. Basically, these drivers are backwards compatible with these CUDA versions. So since I'm at 435, I can run any one of these CUDA versions. Okay, well, you might, you might ask, how do I get a higher driver version so that I can upgrade to a higher CUDA version? Well, you're going to need to go back into the settings. Type super and then type software and hit enter. It's going to load up this updater here. Let's go check for updates any day now. All right, so it just found some updates, but just go ahead and click settings. Go to additional drivers. Come on, but okay, there we go. So now it's showing us that we're using uh, 435, which is consistent with the other results from the terminal. So if we selected 440, we would need to restart our computer and now apply those changes. And then we would be able to have a higher driver version. So that's how you update your drivers. But anyway, let's get into how to actually install PyTorch. So just head on over to pytorch.org and click get started. Then select all of your configuration options. So this is where we need to take into account our CUDA version. Remember from our golden key, the highest I can run is 10.1 because of my 435. So I need to select 10.1. All that changes is this thing right here. So go ahead and copy this and head into terminal. So let's first go ahead and create a new conda environment that we can install PyTorch into. So conda create dash n. Now type the name of your environment. I'm going to name mine PyTorch 10 1 and hit enter. We don't need to specify Python right now. Uh, proceed, yes. Looks good. We need to activate it. Make sure you activate it 10 1. Now paste in that installation command from uh, the PyTorch website. Enter. Okay, now pay close attention here because it's going to show you exactly what it's going to install into your Condit environment. As we can see here, it's going to install CUDA Toolkit 10.1, and that's exactly what we want. And if you're curious to see what Python is going to do, it's going to install 3.8.3. Looks fine to me. Enter, and we wait. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's dive into Python and see what we're working with. Okay, so now we're going to check and see if our GPU is actually available. Um, it's definitely a good idea to do this to make sure everything's working. So go back to the page. 
installation page, scroll down, uh, down to verification, and you're gonna copy these two commands, and then paste it in with Control Shift V, and press Enter, and boom, Torch is available with GPU acceleration. Easy. Now, what would happen? Now, press Control Z to get out of that. What would happen if we tried to install PyTorch uh, with CUDA 10.2, right? If we didn't select uh, 10.1, if we didn't pay attention to our drivers. Well, I already tried that, and let me tell you, it didn't work. So, conda activate PyTorch 10 2. Drop into Python. We're going to paste in our uh, GPU check again. Enter. And it's obviously CUDA is not available. So, if you run into this error, make sure you go back to this uh, this this one, this compatibility page, and you're gonna look for your driver version. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. If it helped you, please leave a like, and if it didn't, please leave a comment. Let me know what I need to do better, and have a good one.